Image-guided neurosurgical interventions require several basic components to allow tracking of a patient's physical anatomy with preoperative and intraoperative imaging, including a tracking system, special track surgical tools, a neuronavigation console, and when intraoperative ultrasound is to be used, an ultrasound system and a tracked ultrasound probe. In this demonstration, a polyvinyl alcohol phantom is being used to represent a brain that is undergoing neurosurgery. The intraoperative brain imaging system, or IBIS, is a prototype neuronavigation system developed in the image processing laboratory at the Montreal Neurological Institute. Preoperative magnetic resonance or computed tomography images can be loaded into the user interface. The images are shown in the axial, coronal, and sagittal planes. These images can be used to make the surface of the patient's brain. The first step in the image-guided intervention is to register the patient's position with the preoperative image data. This is done by selecting the same points on both the preoperative images as well as on the patient. In a real surgical case, nine easily identifiable anatomical landmarks are used to perform the registration. In this demo, we have only chosen four points on our phantom and on the preoperative images. Once the patient image registration is complete, IBIS will report the fiducial registration error as the root mean square distance of the chosen fiducial point pairs. Acquiring tracked ultrasound images during neurosurgery is an inexpensive and effective way to resolve some of the issues related to brain shifts. When acquiring ultrasound images with IBIS, a double view window allows you to simultaneously view your ultrasound slices, seen on the left, with the corresponding preoperative image slice, seen on the right. Once the surgeon has finished acquiring images, they are able to replay through the acquisition as well as blend the ultrasound with the preoperative images. This blending allows for detection of areas where the patient image registration has been compromised and is no longer acceptable as an accurate means of neuronavigation. The acquired ultrasound images can be reconstructed into a 3D volume and re-sliced into the axial, coronal, and sagittal planes. For this demonstration, we can focus our attention to the axial plane. We can scroll through the preoperative and intraoperative image slices simultaneously to see some of the areas where the registration is highly inaccurate. This must be corrected if the use of neuronavigation is to be continued. Using a registration algorithm based on gradient orientation alignment, we can register the preoperative images to the intraoperative images to accurately portray the surgical reality of the patient being operated on. Our moving object is always our preoperative image, and our fixed object is our intraoperative ultrasound image. Scrolling again through the corresponding preoperative and intraoperative image slices, we can now see that the two images more accurately match up. When pointing to a position on the physical anatomy, we can now be more confident that the neuronavigation unit is displaying the appropriate preoperative image slice, improving the use of image guidance for the remainder of the surgery. This process can be repeated many times throughout the intervention whenever the surgeon feels as though the patient image registration has been compromised and would like to improve its accuracy.